Okay, so we're going to get, begin part three of lesson 15. Turn in your instruction book to page 140. And let's begin. It says, read the problem below, then explore how to write different expressions to represent and solve. So it says, the original price of a backpack is $40.90. The sale price is 30% off. Write two different expressions to represent its sale price. Okay, so... First of all, you will need a calculator for uh, this particular problem. Most of these types of problems are going to be calculator active. Um, and also, with this type of problem, it kind of goes back to our ratio and proportions unit when we were working with uh, discounts, um, markups, and percents. So... It's coming back, um, that information um, in, in this unit as well. Okay, so here we have the whole bar represents the original price of the backpack. The shaded section represents the 30% discount. So we know that the original price is $40.90. They're running a sale that's 30% off. Okay, so that's what the shaded section is. Sale price. Well, let, let, me, let me reword that. This is the discount, okay? And we're still, we're getting 30% off, but we're still responsible for paying 70% of that product. Still have to pay... Because 30 plus 70 is 100% of the product. <clears throat> and as you can see, they've done the 30%, of course, you got to express it as a decimal, times the $40.90 to see how much we need to deduct off of that uh, original price. Then we're going to take 70% times the uh, $40.90. And that could tell you how much total that we we need uh, to pay. So in the second model, it, there's, here's another way you can calculate, okay? You can take the sale, to calculate the sale price, you want to take the original price minus the discount. And in this case, the original price was $40.90. And then we have to subtract from it 30% of, remember the word of means to multiply, I'm going to rewrite that because that's a little messy. Means to multiply. There we go. And so whenever we punch in our calculator, 30% or 0 0.30 times $40.90, we get that we need to subtract from the original price $12.27. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so we should get $28.63 is how much we are responsible for paying. So I'm going to jot that down that percents must be rewritten as a decimal when you use them in an equation. All right, then a third way that you could solve this, okay? So the second way, you had to do a two-step process. You had to first figure out what is 30% of the original price. So you had to multiply the 30% times the $40.90. Then the second step would be to deduct it, subtract it away from the original cost of $40.90 to get your final total. Now, there is a one-step equation, um, and it's so you're, sha you're shaving off some time that it takes to, to calculate this if you can remember how to do this. So we know that 30% of the product we're not having to pay for. It's being taken off, deducted, taken away. But we do know that we still have to pay 70% of whatever that total cost is. So one way um, that you could go about solving how much money that is is if we take the 70% 
times the original price. And that's it. That's all you got to do. How much you're still responsible for paying for times the original price. So that's what you see here. The 70% times the $40.90. When you multiply just those two numbers together, you get $28.63. So notice we did one step versus two steps from the second um, equation. And we still got the same answer. All right, so let's answer some questions. Number nine, it says, explain how you could find the sale price of the backpack using two operations. Well, we could multiply $40.90 by... 30%, of course, has a decimal to get the discount. Then we could subtract the discount from $40.90 to get the sale price. Number 10, it says calculate the sale price of the backpack using two operations. Show your work. So number nine wanted the explanation. How do we go about getting to how much we're responsible for paying? Number 10, they actually wanna see our work which we've already done on the previous page. So all I'm gonna do is just rewrite it here. We took the 30% times the $40.90 and got $12.27. Now that is the discount that we're gonna take away from the original price and get $28.63. Number 11, it says, explain how you could find the sale price of the backpack using only one operation. Well, we could multiply $40.90 by the 70% to get the sale price. Number 12, it actually wants us to calculate it, which we've already done. Again, 40.90 times that by the 70%. Ooh, let's rewrite that seven one more time. When we multiply those together, we get the $28.63. Number 13, it says, suppose the price of the backpack was P dollars. All right, so they're coming out and they're saying, we don't know how much the original uh, the, the price of this backpack is, okay? Um, it's not the $40.90 any longer. It, it's a, a different price, but we don't know what it is. It's unknown. So we're going to use that variable of P. It says write two different expressions to represent the sale price. So we're still doing the 30% off, still responsible for paying 70%, but um, they just want a standardized equation that no matter, uh, let's say, what brand of backpack, that we could have been be purchasing because this store is still offering 30% off no matter what uh, style, no matter what brand backpack it is. So we're gonna do the sale price, which is equivalent to P minus 30% times P, okay? Because again, P is the original price. And that's how we would go about calculating the sale price. Another way that we did it was by um, just multiplying the 70% times whatever the original cost was. Okay, number 14. It says the price of a flash drive that regularly sells for $16 is increased by 15%. Write two different expressions to find the new price. Okay, so the one that we just got through working was talking about discounting. Now this one's talking about marking up the price. We're gonna be paying more, okay? So 
If we're paying more, that means our total is going to be greater than $16, of course. So we're going to take 16 and we've got to add this time. We're not subtracting because the price increased. We need to figure out, well, since it's increasing by 15%, how much is that? So we're going to have to express that, of course, as a decimal, 15% and multiply it by 16. Now, in our calculator, let's punch in what 15% uh, or 0.15 times 16 is. You should get $2.40. So that means we need to add 216 $2.40, which gives us a grand total of $18.40. That's how much that this flash drive is gonna cost us. Now, another way to work, uh, work this out. We know that we are still gonna be responsible for paying 100% of the $16, okay? But we're gonna be paying 15% more, okay? So we've gotta add to it 15% of the $16. So 100 plus 15 gives us 115% of $16. 115 percent expressed as a decimal is one decimal one five. We're going to take that and multiply it by 16. So go ahead and punch that in your calculator. 1.16, I mean I'm sorry, 1.15 times that by 16 and write down what you get. You should get again $18.40. That's how much that flash drive is gonna cost us. For number 15, the original price of a DVD is represented by the variable VEX. If the DVD is discounted 45%, write a subtraction expression and a multiplication expression to represent its sale price. So guess what guys, they're wanting us to do the exact same thing that we had to do about the backpack. But this time we're just swapping out the 30 and the 70% with the 45% and then whatever the remainder would be. So we know that the original price we're going to use as X because that's what they tell us. Use X. That's the original price. We're going to subtract from it the discount, which is 45%. So, of course, we got to express that as a decimal times whatever the original price is. And that's going to give us the sale price. Then we have to write a multiplication problem. So we got to figure out, yes, we're being discounted 45%, but we're still responsible for paying 55%. When we subtract from 145, we get 55. So we're going to take the 55% times the original price.